brilliantly done. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant.
Go, my friend. Brilliant. Go, my friend. Brilliant. And the battlefield into a cemetery. Anyone up for it? This was the inevitable result.
defense and offense. The sweetest taste is victory. In the unyielding light, Judgment's arrival is imminent. Brilliantly done. Just saying, we don't sell ripoffs.
You just made the best choice. Resistance crumbles. Brilliant. Brilliant.
brilliantly done. Brilliant. In the unyielding light, judgment arrival is imminent.
good defense and offense. Run through everything. This is our victory. Brilliant. Brilliantly done.
defense and offense. Brilliantly done. Got it. Go, my friend. Brilliant.
brilliantly done. Brilliantly done. Brilliant.
Go, my friend. Brilliantly done. Go, my friend. Run through everything. Brilliant. Go, my friend. Run through everything. Brilliant. Brilliant. Brilliant.
In the unyielding modesty is the mother of virtue. Did someone call for me? Is there a feast? Dora! Magister, Dora knew you would come! Now is not the time for joy! Things are much different than we thought. There is a Hypogean sealed in the Dusk Lord's tomb! Even worse, just as Dora feared, Elusha's actions in the Remnant Peaks have weakened the seal. It seems this is the root cause of the anomalies in the Crimson Highlands. The Hypogean's power is extending outward. Does the inscription say that if we want to seal that horrid thing in again, that is, the Hypogean, we need to defeat it? Oh, I can't stand uttering such a filthy word. My understanding is the same as yours. However, although the Hypogean seal has been compromised, it is still in a contained state. We cannot defeat the Hypogean while it remains confined. Does that mean we need to... Wait, unseal that... Thing? Can we really do this? The Magister knows the magical process of sealing the Hypogean. To release it, the method is simply reversed. For a great mage like the Magister, this should be a small task. That's not what I mean. We are discussing the release of a malevolent Hypogean. Shouldn't we be cautious? At least let me perform a divination on the probability of our success. I agree with Citrana. We need to be careful with how we proceed. Even if we truly can lift the seal, there's no guarantee we'll defeat the Hypogean. The results of a failure would be catastrophic. However, since the seal has already been compromised, it's only a matter of time before it shatters. The Crimson Highlands and all the surrounding areas will... What will happen? Finish your words! Coco, if we don't fight the Hypogean, your homeland will be destroyed long before the seal is fully broken. Then I'll fight! I'm not afraid of pain, only of losing my home! Magister Merlin, what should we do? You already know my thoughts. I've come this far, and I won't back down. Magister, as Dora said in the inscription, it's time for you and your companions to take a stand! And Chippy is always ready to charge hotly, Chippy! Merlin also has me by her side. And not just me, but all of us who have come this far. Merlin, have you made up your mind? Of course. Let's not delay. Time to unseal the Hypogean.
long have I waited? Memory is a precarious thing. Even I am not immune to its loss. My name is Freyesto. I have been alone here for ages, much akin to a prisoner. But what was my offense, and where was my trial? Who is qualified to condemn one such as me? Do you make such a claim? You, the great mage known as Merlin. Oh? Then tell me, what am I guilty of? What warrants being locked away by that detestable goddess? You cannot name a single transgression. And from this standpoint, I do not see myself guilty of any offense. Does a sinless hypogean deserve to suffer confinement just for their very nature? Filthy hypogean, your twisted tongue has no effect. Your crimes have been well documented. Do you refer to the type of historical gossip that anyone might fashion as they please? You say I am guilty. Then of what charge? Did anyone witness my crimes with their own eyes? Impish little familiar. The world always views powerful forces beyond this control as evil. Yet you know nothing of true power. I wish the goddess hadn't forgotten to seal your mouth as well. You're the one who knows nothing. Oh, but courageous child. I know you. Ironically, when Dura sealed me away, she borrowed the remaining power of the Dusk Lord. Therefore, like you, I sometimes hear the whispers of his voice. The Dusk Lord has always believed that you would find and defeat me. Unfortunately for you, this is a fallacy. child for the rest of your short lives? Of course not! We'll defeat you! Why such hostility? I, Freyesto, am the Hypogean that can remedy this world's sadness. In my illusions, departed loved ones return home to their kin with open arms. Scorned lovers reunite and never betray one another again. No one needs endure the travesties of illness, poverty, or war. All may live in peace and prosperity while flourishing in everlasting youth. If you would like to assign a duration to the length of these generous illusions, I offer my lifespan as the criterion. And as a Hypogean, I am immortal, the one known as Merlin. Do you not wish for eternal bliss? Are illusions that last all eternity not just another form of reality? Magister, I've heard enough of this nonsense. I'm prepared. Let's go!
Is it over? I'm alive. I can't believe it. See, Entendre? I've learned much in your absence. Satrana! <laughs> hey, hey, easy kid. You're all over me. If not for your help in the battle, I don't think I ever would have seen Entendre again. I thought you just wanted to steal her away. And so, I've been so cruel to you. And you still saved me. You're the best. From now on, you and Entendre are both my favorite people. Hey, there can only be room for one favorite, so don't get greedy. And who is Citrana's favorite person? <laughs> well, think it over slowly. With that thick skull of yours, it might be a while before you figure it out. <sighs> it's finally over. Will the Crimson Highlands return to normal now? Based on our previous experiences, hmm, it will take some time. At the very least, they won't deteriorate any further. Things can only improve from here. Magister! We thwarted a Hypogean once again! Let's go back to Alkali to celebrate! We both know you only want to celebrate so you can go stuff your cheeks with food. Chippy, as a familiar, you only need magic for nourishment. But you're still so greedy! Magister! Hemi is bullying Chippy! Chippy? You didn't even learn how to tattle! Help, Magister! Hemi must be stopped! This sort of bickering sounds familiar. Reminds me of Alsa always buzzing in my ear. I didn't say that. But I don't wish to remain here any longer. Let's head back to Alkali. I'm sure everyone there could use good news. Freyester, you shaped up to be quite a disappointment, didn't you? With all that power of yours, failure did not seem an option. Having said that, what sort of power must they have been granted by the gods? To be able to deliver a fatal blow to a Hypogean is concerning. This warrants a proper investigation. I hate it. Scheming is not my forte. And their excellency is always giving me the most difficult tasks. Oh, never mind. I'll simply have to try harder so as not to anger them. Why have only a few of you returned? Did you find the treasure? Papa? He's not here. Excuse me, have you seen my Papa? His name is Ames. He loves telling stories and keeping a journal. He said he would write down all the amazing things that happened during the treasure hunt and tell me when he got back. 
Has anyone seen him? Anyone? Please! He's my papa! Ames, isn't this person already... We haven't met your father, but we found some journals along the way that may belong to him. Take a look. This is Papa's handwriting! Is he... okay? I knew it! Every time I have a bad feeling, I'm never wrong. When Papa was leaving, I begged him not to go. Why didn't he listen to me? Why? I have to tell everyone the truth. Otherwise, those souls will not rest in the Crimson Highlands, with none aware of the evil deeds of the Hypogean and the Adamant Syndicate. As Fiesto said, others must know of his crimes. They must empower the world to judge him. I will assist Trona and try to find the rightful owners of the recovered relics. Upon seeing the relics, the family should know we speak the truth. I'm going to help too! It can't just be Citrana and Entendre doing all the work! We'll stay a while too. Thank you for the kind gesture, but you'd better return to your clan. Soren, look at the worried faces of those around you. At this moment, your loved ones probably look the exact same way. Go home and put their worries to rest. And Magister, it's been a pleasure to have you with us. Without you, I might never have found Antandra. Please accept my deepest thanks. It's time to say goodbye again. Do not be sad about our parting. Your destinies, though ripe with challenges, shine brighter than the stars. Someday, somewhere, we will meet again. everyone look injured oh, luckily no wounds seem severe with a bit of rest all will be bouncing around in no time aren't you going to ask me about what we encountered what's there to ask when soren's by your side any dangerous quest seems like a breeze and with the magister accompanying you i wasn't worried at all <clears throat> actually i shouldn't say i didn't worry at all that might not be exactly true but only a little bit because i believe in you Anyway, you're finally back. I'm so happy. Yes, I'm home. Magister, if you're not in a great hurry to leave, you must stay with us for a while. Of course, Chippy and Hammy are also welcome. I've prepared some of your favorite treats. Ready for a feast? Always ready. Chippy will help you vanquish those treats. Chippy, say thank you to Elsa. Thank you, Elsa. Uh, and everyone in the Uru clan for hosting us. You're welcome. In my eyes, you are all family. Everyone, welcome 